we're going to uh, calculate what that 64 tooth cylinder should measure, and then you whip out your uh, caliper and measure it and see where we are. And then we'll talk about what we find. All right. This is already up there, right? So, label was two inches long. Good. Good. Okay, he just said that the label was two inches. The label length equals two inches. So, we'll just keep that up here and see what comes up. Now, we also, for, to do that yesterday, we used a 64 tooth cylinder. Now, let's start. We are going to work on diameter, right? And what we've been given here, really, is another way of telling us what the circumference is. Because we know that the pitch equals 1 eighth inch, or 0 0.125 inches. Okay? So, 64 teeth divided by 8, or times 1 eighth, equals 8 inches. If the label length is 2, then that means we probably had 4 around. If the, if, if we had, uh, did I do that right? 64 divided by 8 is 8, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's 8 inches. Was it 4 around? Was it 4 inches around? Yeah. Yes. Yep. So there you have it. That is the appropriate. It tells you on there. The, 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 no, no, he's, he's just looking and seeing how many images are, are on that plate around it. Uh, this is what we mean by that. Mm -hmm. You see, it says P605. Mm -hmm. This is one time, two time, three time, four time. That's four around. When I say four around, that's what we mean. So if it's eight inches around and you have four labels, each label is two inches, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and that worked. It could be one plate that's eight inches long for one job with an eight inch plate. That's correct. That's correct. So now, so that's good. We, that, that worked. We, that, that was consistent with, with what we did yesterday. But now let's see. It's eight inches in diameter. Now you take it and divide it by, well, you take the eight divided by 3.1416 to four decimal places. That's pi. And the reason we use pi is the relationship between the diameter and the circumference of a circle is, fit, is, is pi, and which is 3.141527, something, something like that. It's been calculated out to over 100 decimal places and never stops. It's, a, it's an irrational number. Okay, so we take 8 divided by, how did you do this thing? <laughs> What's 8 divided by pi? <laughs> Okay, 2.547. By the way, it's not valid to go beyond three decimal places because our tape and our um, plate is expressed in three decimal places. And because of significant figures, we can't express our answer in more than three decimal places. That's something you learn about a uh, concept called significant figures. 2.55 rounds. Thank you. 2.55. Okay? That is our print diameter. So now we take that. And, but that's the print diameter. Now we have to take away the uh, twice the tape and twice the plate, so we know what the bare diameter is. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do we have the values for twice the plate? Twice the plate is 0 0.124. Twice the tape is 0 0.030. Uh, four. That's uh, 0.154. So we take away. We take two. Let's. What's that to three decimal places? Huh? What's this from here to three decimal places here? 2.547. Okay, yeah, I just do it this way because I have three decimal places here and I just want to come up that way. So we take away from that, this is 0.154. Uh, uh, um, we take away from that 0 0.154 and we come up with 3.293 uh, each. Should be our bare cylinder diameter. So let's mic it and see what we got. And of course, you'll be Bring careful with ink and stuff. And by the way, that's not the best tool for measuring diameter of a cylinder. There's a there's a nice pie tape that does a great job. Uh, I mean, you can do a great job with that, but you have to be, you know you can't come at an angle and all that. Like you know, 
we have to be careful with it. About two, three, nine. Right on. Okay, that's the end of this take. Okay, we're revisiting this. We're revisiting this math because I made a mistake when I mentally doubled the value for twice the plate thickness. So let's fix that real quick. All right, twice the plate thickness, and that's why you're going to do the math for us. I can't do math without a calculator. Okay, twice the plate thickness. 0.067 times 2 is 0.134. That's right. 134. And then twice 0.015 is 0.030. Do you agree? That's right. Okay, so now we got 0.164. So now the, so twice the plate thickness plus twice the tape thickness, which we're going to subtract from the overall print diameter, is 0 0.164. Agreed? So when we substitute it back over here from the uh, 2.547, and it's 0 0.164 minus 0 0.164, now we have 3. Uh, eight, three, two, 2.383. Okay. And 2.9 is still, to me, it's those microscopic, those little variations, it's probably a reading or whatever. I could safely, I feel comfortable that that cylinder was designed to be used with an 067 plate and with a 0.015 inch tape. So I'm happy with that bare cylinder diameter. And I'm also happy with my tape selection because if it didn't work out, we might say, hey, maybe these cylinders were designed to be used with 10,000s or 20,000s, not 15. And we got misinformed somewhere along the line. So we've done a very good study. We feel comfortable now that 0.015 is our tape.